Hey there, it's here. I've been waiting for one of these for the longest and I'm so excited to do an unboxing today. So let's talk about it. I ordered this and it finally came and let's see what it is. Ready for the big reveal? sheet and directions and then some bubble stuff and some more bubble stuff and some padding and I'm gonna put that baby on the floor to pick it up because it is huge it's kind of heavy I think it might be heavier than my other one. But I love it because it's white. Turn it sideways. Ugh. Who that baby's heavy. And I guess I better read the instructions because I'm bad about not reading. Key. Set your timer. What? Oh, it has a thermal mat on it. mouse pad because sometimes when I'm working here it doesn't work right my mouse doesn't work correctly and I'm gonna do me a coaster and I'm doing sublimation I know it will work for vinyl but my key is sublimation how will it work so let's see I don't know about you but I always read my instructions again once I start doing sublimation I always want to pay attention to what I'm doing it has a little bit of a noise but I think it's because it's heating up which is okay so for coasters I need to heat it for 400 degrees temperature. Okay. Let's 
Let me turn it so you can see it. Oh, it's massive. Oh. So for temperature, I'm just pushing the temperature button and I'm just going to go up temperature and then go up. I need to go to 400. Then temperature. I have my own Teflon, another type of Teflon sheet that I'm gonna use, as well as some paper. So I've already printed my design, and I'm just going to take it and put it on my mouse pad like such. And I have a little extra hanging up. I think it's going to cut that off. I don't really need it. And I have it fastened down. And we are on 352. It's heating up pretty fast. And I need to do it for how many seconds? 45 seconds. So I need to do time and take it to 45 seconds. And I'm gonna do another coaster. Same thing. I'm gonna secure it. And you see my lights flickering? That means it's pulling a lot. And safety first. I always have a fire extinguisher in my office. My studio downstairs, you never know. If I keep this fire extinguisher close, be prepared. So it's ready. So I'm going to put this down on the bottom. And I'm going to put my designs down. And I'm going to put one on top, my own on top. I'm going to put this down first. And then this down. I'm going to need no problems. Then push it down. Pretty fancy. I love it. Yay! Beautiful! And as I thought, look, it made a mark. Protect your design, your items. So I'm going to do it again. This time I put this on here. I have another sheet. And then I'm putting this because I don't want this to spill over. I know this is probably like a little bit extra, but it's okay. Slide it in. Push the button. It was really good. I had a little bit at the top, and that was my fault. 
but oh my gosh, it works. Love it. Ooh, stinks. Pull it out. Now it does stink, but that's because I'm doing sublimation. Yes. Love it. I don't have my hot gloves. But oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Love it. So if you want to purchase this, I'm going to put a link below. Please, if you like more tutorials or more videos on how I do unboxing, things like that, like, share, and subscribe, and I will do more. It's a go.